Hello? Hello? Clarinet 911? I've cracked my instrument. What do I do? Hi, welcome to Clarinet HQ. In this video, we're going to be talking about preventing cracks in your wooden clarinet. And we're also going to show you how to um, oil your bore. So before we can prevent cracks in our clarinet, we first have to know how they happen. Um, so anytime matter gets cold, it contracts. Um, and any time it warms, it expands, okay? except for ice, but that's another thing. So that's what happens with our wooden clarinets when they crack. Uh, it means that it is cold on the outside of our clarinet, but if we play our clarinet and are putting warm air through our instrument while it's still cold on the outside, we've got a contracting, um, we've got contracting wood on the outside and on the inside, the wood is expanding. So we have one piece of wood going in two different directions, and that's what causes a crack. So you wanna avoid big temperature changes. Um, for example, when I ship my clarinet out to be um, repaired, uh, it may have been traveling, when it comes back to me, it may have been traveling on a really cold plane or a cold truck during the winter time. So when I get it back, I'm going to let my clarinet just sit in my home and gradually get back up to my home's room temperature, which may take half a day, um, before I then take it out and actually will warm up the outside of the clarinet before I play it. So that way, when you start playing your clarinet and that warm air is going through the inside bore, um, you are basically creating an atmosphere where it's all the same temperature and you're not um, going to induce any cracks. So another thing that contributes to causing cracks um, is not just the difference in temperature between the outside of your clarinet and the inner bore of your clarinet, but the condensation that's created when we are playing our clarinet. Okay, so we are putting, even though we use cold air when we um, blow through our instrument, you still have to remember that it's coming from our lungs, the inside of our body, and we are 98.6 degrees on average. So that air is warm air compared to the outside of our clarinet if it's cold. So that condensation that's created um, can be absorbed on the inside, can be absorbed into the wood, and that causes wood to expand, which can then cause a crack. So a way to prevent this is we will oil our bore. I'm going to show you how to oil the bore. Um, the point of it is to use as little as possible. Um, it's going to be swabbed through your clarinet multiple times. And the idea is that it's just supposed to lightly coat the inside of your clarinet so that when you're playing, that condensation, the spit, the water that's created is just gonna fall like right out. It's just supposed to slide off. So the types of oil that you can use to um, oil your bore on your wooden clarinet um, is like pure sweet almond oil, okay? That's a, that's a great oil to use. Um, there are bore oils that you can purchase, um, although you really want to avoid anything synthetic. Don't use any type of regular cooking oil, like olive oil, okay? Uh, we're not gonna saute our clarinets. Uh -huh. You're going to want to oil your bore um, probably about twice a year. Um, some people do it more often, but it's usually at the change of season. Um, so I have a bottle with me for demonstration, okay? Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to, um, oops, first get the knot out of your swab because... Ta-da! Clarinet problems, okay? So I want you to remember that you can always add a little more oil if you need to, okay? You can never, you can't take the oil back off the swab or out of your clarinet. So you wanna use 
a very small amount, okay? Um, remember, it's not so that the oil is going to be absorbed. That's not, what's, is, that's not what happens. It's just supposed to lightly coat the inside of the bore. So I have some, um, some bore-approved oil. And on your swab, really what I'll do is I will just take a little bit Okay, so there's just a few drops. And then I'll actually like rub it around on my swab. So once it's nicely coated around, uh, kind of all over your swab, it's not gonna have like a, a shiny sheen to it. Your swab isn't, okay, when there's oil on it. You just want to, if you can, you can like test a spot on your hand. And if you just feel a little bit of it, that's plenty. Okay. So a reason why you really um, don't want to use too much oil is because too much oil is going to then uh, get into the pads and it's going to cause them to stick. And then you're going to have to repair them and it ends up costing a lot of money. Okay. So you really want to err on the side of too little um, and then if you don't quite see a sheen throughout, you can either swab more or you can um, add a little more oil. What you're going to do is then you're going to actually, you're going to swab it through your instrument. Okay. You're going to swab it through a few times going one direction. And then a few times, I only did it twice, but you should probably do it three or four and then a few times going the other way. And that's to make sure that the oil is nicely coating the inside of your clarinet, your wooden clarinet. Um, and what you can do is you can actually, ahoy, no, um, you can look through your clarinet and you'll see like a, just a little kind of like a sheen, um, a light sheen going through your bore. Um, and uh, you've done it. You've bore oiled your clarinet. So after you have oiled your clarinet, it's best to let it sit on a clarinet stand and just kind of let it sit out. Um, on the off chance that you used too much oil, um, letting it sit out will allow the oil to kind of come down um, with gravity instead of settling in the pads. So if you feel uncomfortable, um, oiling your own bore, um, you can always talk to your band director or talk to your local repair person um, and they can walk you through the process. So you want to keep in mind that only wooden clarinets crack. Um, so that's why you want to have a high quality plastic clarinet if you have a lot of outdoor gigs or if you are um, in a marching band, okay, because plastic clarinets aren't going to crack only wooden ones. So clarinet 911, if your clarinet does crack, um, it happens to everyone at least once in their life, um, stop playing on it immediately and take it to your local repair person um, as soon as you can because the cracks can expand um, even if you don't play on them, okay? So time is of the essence. And repair people usually can fix smaller cracks, okay? Um, so don't play on a cracked clarinet. If you have any questions about bore oil, clarinet 911, you can post them in the comments and we're happy to help out. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, mister.